I, I was in my dorm room one evening and I get a call from a gentleman from the Kennedy Space Center asking me if I wanted to move to Florida to launch space shuttles. And at first I thought it was a joke because I had put in thousands of applications for a job. You know, I'm, I'm graduating, I need a job, uh, but I never applied to the Kennedy Space Center. And when you get the call from NASA, I'm assuming you don't go, nah, I can't be, like it's, that's I, a huge I, honor. I, I went nah in my head, but I didn't say that verbally because call. I, I thought it was a prank call and, and I really needed a job. So I'm like, if this is real, I, I need to yeah. follow this through. But the gentleman on the other end was very crafty. He gave me a, a free trip, all expense paid trip to Florida. I got to see the space shuttle. I got to see a launch pad. I got to see the Kennedy Space Center visitor complex. And I'm like, I'll give it five years. And I stayed 20. You went as an electrical engineer and obviously you sort of look at you there in your spacesuit. But you, you didn't have any, you didn't think you were going to be an astronaut. No. So how did it go from, how are you, I'm, I'm an engineer coming down to, oh, I'm going to go to yeah. space. Uh, uh, again, just uh, having someone put in my path. So I had been there about uh, seven years. I'd done 40 launches or so. And a gentleman that I was working for was doing a special assignment. He said five words that would change my life forever. He said, you'd make a great astronaut. And I took it as a compliment. He took it as an action item. What sort of speed are you going when you're up there? We are 17,500 miles per hour if you want it in uh, 24,000 uh, uh, kilometers per hour. Kilometers per hour. So. So, oh, another a great fact, so we go around the world one time every 90 minutes. So in that 90 minutes, we get to see one sunrise and one sunset. So if you were just to plaster your face against the window for a full day, you get to see 16 sunrises and 16 sunsets. How does your perspective change being oh, above yeah. the earth? Looking at the world and the fact that there's no boundaries and no divisions, it's, it's humbling, first of all. Uh, it makes you think that the world is incredibly fragile, and so we need to be kind to Mother Earth and, and as well to your, your fellow man. So it, it really it gave me a different perspective, mm. uh, and I, I just wanted it to be nicer to everybody.